Welcome to Shiny Colors Final Classes, everyone. This is Rashmi here. Don't forget to subscribe my channel. Today we are going to make this simple landscape. So let us draw quickly. I have divided the horizon line, made the road. Minimum drawing we will do. And today we are doing a very simple landscape and uh, uh, all loose and I will tell you how to keep our paper wet and how to keep uh, the wet and wet washes so that we can have that watercolor feel. That watercolor feel is very important when you do watercolor. So here Let me quickly finish the drawing. So I'm making some houses on the far horizon. So we have to keep the perspective correct when you do the, uh, when you paint the houses. Minimum drawing, there is no uh, very much drawing I am doing here. Very, very minimum drawing. And because we are uh, going to make the uh, tree foliages with the color so I just made the trunks of the trees and the back foliages I have drawn. Now I have applied the water. Now the water was in a good amount you can see how the color is traveling downwards and my paper is little bit on the angle so I am taking the uh, cobalt blue mixing it little crimson in that so it will not turn into green now you can see again I have applied the uh, color but my paper is so much wet. You can see the color that is dripping down and you can see the color is traveling from up to down. That is important. When you do the watercolor the wet on wet technique is very important and that actually looks very good. So here see I mixed again cobalt and uh, uh, crimson and mixed little bit sap green into that because I am making the far trees and those are the foliages uh, so I made the purplish color and added little green so that it will look little greenish dull greenish dull color because they are trees so see and my paper is still wet so we have to finish the wet portion first when it is wet we have to quickly finish the uh, portion the basic wash portion that is required to be uh, uh, wet on wet to make it wet on wet effect basically now i added a little more cobalt in the same color and i'm um, see adding the blue color into the nearer trees so far trees are a little dark and you can see how beautiful the orange glow is looking behind that orange we have done in the sky. Okay, and I'm applying still more blue. Uh, if you have a uh, Prussian blue, you can apply Prussian blue, or if you have uh, cerulean, you can apply a little bit cerulean blue. I uh, am adding a little cobalt blue in the sap green. And I'm giving the foliages effect little, but my paper is still wet. Huh? I'm doing a little fast, so before the paper gets dry, we have to finish those wet on wet washes. So I'm quickly doing the wet on wet effect. Now we have to do the base. So this is yellow ochre color. Now again you see 
I um, did not apply the water first, but the color that yellow ochre color that I use that I diluted a lot. So my paper was having good amount of color. Again, I have done little burnt sienna mixed with little gray and a little green in that. Now you can see again the uh, color is traveling uh, downward. It is dripping down. It means my paper has good amount of water. And when I'm giving the washes, it is automatically settling with the water on the paper. So you have to give those washes horizontal lines in the horizontal lines because this is the land and you can see still my paper is wet. So we should do um, one by one uh, part. Wherever we want the wet effect, we have to do that part first and then uh, come down. So I did not uh, use the water on full paper when I was doing. Now my paper is all dried. I mean, it is all dry up and down. So I am doing the houses. So I have to take in the orange color and when the orange color is wet, I'm applying a little blue to get the shadow on that. The tree shadow, those are there on the top. And I'm giving a small, small detailing that is far on the horizon line. Small foliages, small houses, buildings, whatever is there. I'm just giving a illusion of that little bit. And I'm giving the trunks with the little dark color. So I'm making those uh, trunks with the uh, brown color. If you don't have brown, you can mix burnt sienna with gray. If you don't have gray, you can mix it with the black color. That is also fine. Now I've, I've made the roof shadow with blue color. Uh, that is a cobalt blue and it's not very neat, clean blue. It is, I mean, uh, whatever the color is in my brush, I've just taken the blue in that. Now in the bottom of the houses, I'm making uh, blue, same cobalt, and I'm blending it with the water. Making it dark means, see the, the wall of the um, houses are white, but I'm making it dark in the bottom. It will show the depth and the, something happening that is that is in front of the house also will show. So bottom of the part of the wall we have to make it dark now I'm just making a little more uh, darker tone and you can see how uh, beautiful the houses are started to look blending again same way Now we have to make uh, those back trees. So I'm taking a thin brush and with the thin brush split the branches. And because they are far, so we should not make them very, very dense. I'm making the uh, foliages and leaves very less.
here also everywhere when I am splitting I am making the foliages not very dense because they are against the uh, uh, thicker tree, dense trees. So we have to just make a lesser, uh, small and thinner tree so that we can show the differentiate between the both, I mean back trees and the front trees. Now I am giving the detailing on the house. With the thin brush, I'm taking the gray. If you don't have paints gray color, you can take the black. Making the doors and windows. And giving them that roof texture and detailing of the tile, roof tile. This is a small back house there. I made the stairs on that. And here I'm making the windows of the house. And here again the windows and this side we can give the door because the other side I had given the windows now a little bit detailing I mean a fence here we can give the fence of the road or for the house Little bit here and there, touching the detailing. Small, small detailing to give the final effect. Uh, we have to make the figures now. Okay, just let me uh, complete it, a small final touch here and there. So here I'm going to make the figures. Figures will give you the life in your painting. So you have to check how big the figure should be. Uh, so this is nearer, so it should be a little bigger than the houses because houses are far. So I'm drawing directly with the pencil. Uh, if you are comfortable draw direct directly with the pencil, you can do. Otherwise, you can draw it first with the pencil and then you can draw it with the brush. I'm drawing it directly. I made one figure and then I'll make the other figure also. Just to make the proportion correct, the torso and the legs has to be in the proportion. Now the other figure Beside one more figure is there, and that is back side, back side of the front figure. So I'm just giving the detailing for that. Figures has to be balanced and now see here I am not uh, doing so much water. I mean now the water is not 
so much here um, if we use so much water then we can spoil the painting actually so uh, you have to apply the water on the back side on the background especially when we do the base washes when we give the details we need the dry surface and we have to give the details on the bright uh, on the dry surface if you are comfortable doing on the wet uh, surface you can do otherwise you make it dry first and then do the washes so i'm giving a small little little details here and there just to uh, precise the road just to uh, make the lines little more uh, little more darker and defining the lines of the road and here and there there the grass or the stony effect just to give little happening here and there that's all I'm almost done. So this time I just give a small and uh, very, very um, simple landscape so that everybody can try. Please try at your home. And if you like it, please hit the like button, subscribe my channel and share it with your friends and family. See you for the next week. See how beautiful it has come. Loved it. Bye-bye.